we start with a mixture, which usually we start with just one or the other, and we undergo combustion, okay? In the end of combustion, we don't care about the water apparently, but there's 14.5 grams of this. Whenever you have this kind of mixture problem, I'd recommend writing a combustion reaction for each one of these individually. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to write and balance one for each one. And okay, it's not out of the box to have a mixture kind of problem like this. So I'm going to erase this. Let's write one for each of them. So I'm going to combust. In this mixture of five grams of both of them, two combustions are happening. One is the combustion of methane. And let's balance this one. There's one carbon on each side. I need four hydrogens. And then I have one, two, three, four, so it looks like I need two of these. Does that look good? It's balanced. Uh, let's balance the other one, C2H4, that's ethylene. Again, same kind of combustion reaction, just be balanced differently. Okay, for this one, two carbons, so I need two carbons. I've got four hydrogens, so I need two times two waters or four hydrogens. And now let's see how many oxygens you have. One, two, plus another four, that looks like six, so three. Is that all right? Now again, they're both producing, producing CO2. We still have five grams of this, and there's still 14, I believe, 0.5 grams of the CO2 produced. Let me double check that. Yeah, now we want to know the mass percent of the sample, how much was just ethylene. Is that okay? And uh, let's see if there was anything else. Uh, no, not really. Okay, so what you can do is, let's say ethylene is the compound of vitreous. That's the second one. So what's your favorite letter in the alphabet? Um, B. B, okay. We'll say there's B of the ethylene. And for this one, that would mean there's 5 minus B. So that when you add them both up, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they both add up to 5 grams. So this one will be B, the one we're interested in, this will be 5 minus B. Uh, so what we can do, there would be a couple ways that you would solve this stoichiometrically. One way that's kind of in my mind is to say, well, if we have B grams of this, uh, let's calculate how much CO2 we formed in terms of B. So uh, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, if we have B, and remember B is a mass, let's change this to moles. Ethylene uh, has a molar mass of around 16, or no, 20 something. Let's see if I have it written here. Uh, is that right? There'll be 2 times 12. So 24, 25, I think it's around 28 grams per mole. Uh, so that would be moles of ethylene. Now, there are one mole of the ethylene, C2H4, for every two moles of the CO2. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so uh, let's change this to mass because my, I'm going to mass because this is given in mass. Okay, this would be, I think it's 44.01 grams per mole from the periodic table uh, for the molar mass of CO2. And so now this will be uh, mass of CO2 from the bottom reaction only. Cool so far? Yeah. This is not equal to 14.5, it'd be less than that because it's just from one reaction. Mm -hmm. Let's do the exact same thing now for the top reaction. But now, the mass of the ethane is 5 minus B. Is that okay? I'm going to go through the same process now. Uh, I think the molar mass, it's somewhere around 16. You can find it exactly. That'll change us to moles of ethane. Now let's do a molar ratio. There's one mole of CO2 for every one mole of ethane. So now this is moles of CO2. Again, we'll use the molar mass. Uh, 44.01 grams per mole. Now I have mass of CO2. Now the 14.5 is what? Anybody? It would be the sum of these two. If you sum both of these up, so this one 
plus this one. This equals 14.5. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. One equation, one unknown, B. Solve for B. OK. Uh, let me see if I have that. So the mass, when you do that, the mass of the ethylene, or the letter B, will be 2.02. .02. So B will end up being 2.02 .02 grams. And that's of the C2H4. Go back to the question. That's not exactly what they wanted. They wanted the mass percent of ethylene. So all you do is say, well, mass percent, that would be the mass of interest, ethylene, over the total mass, 5, times 100. <clears throat> that turns out to be 40.4%.